Good morning, folks. One of the active regions departing the Earth-facing side of the sun erupted in gorgeous fashion. While the majority of excitement was held within the corona, we do appear to have some ejecta, and in the corona we see perturbation in 193 angstroms, further suggesting a CME has taken place. Solar flare had a double peak to heights of X-ray emission, a moderately strong M flare. It created the double ionization event in our ionosphere as well, radio blackout over the sunlit side of the planet. While that eruption is not yet on SOHO, a previous eruption is seen going left. This was a beautiful magnetic field disruption that had most of the plasma stay at the sun, while a bit of it did erupt, a beautiful movement of electromagnetic material. Complex spots getting ready to say goodbye on the right, while the positive intrusion into the red negative incoming core has disappeared and flare chances diminish in the earth facing position. Solar wind, still relatively stable and within normal range on telemetry, magnetosphere is calm and undisturbed. We do still have the plasma filament eruption threats on the disk, along with the dark coronal hole coming in behind them. I've got a link for you to a terrific summary of the Arctic blast that the US has seen here, but we'd also like to mention a change is coming. The jet stream dip that has allowed Arctic air to funnel down into the states will shift over the next three days and come north, allowing warmer air to intrude for all but the most northern states in Canada. Sorry up there folks. We're coming to the Indian Ocean now where intensification events of the cyclone accompany the flares and CMEs, heading towards major strength but also heading into the middle of nowhere. In the west, we see a collision of air masses in the desert. Also, that flow of frigid air chilling the moisture that remains in the east. We've got rain and snow coming tonight in both locations. Stay alert. In Europe, we've still got this same moisture flow coming off the Atlantic and wrapping up around the lows to the north. Cloud lines and bad weather conditions naturally follow that line once again today. Down under, you can see air masses colliding from the south, the north, and the east as they work out their differences in temperature, moisture, pressure, and energy. The people below will feel the energetic release of the equilibrium found above them. Got slightly different current conditions and shots of our star to close. It's 6.05 a.m. Eastern Time, 4.05 a.m. Local. That's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.